This is going to be a quick one. We're going to unbox a new product. So in Scarlet's cage and the snake rack, as you probably saw in previous videos, I've been using these small Bluetooth thermostat hygrometers made by Dovi. They come with an app. I can get all the information straight to my phone, but it's Bluetooth, so I got to be within range. So if I go too far away, like I'm in my parents' house or I leave the property, I can't get alerts if the temperature and the humidity gets out of whack. Other than remote access through Wi-Fi, I have no complaints about the products I've been using. I think I have two different models here. One's updated, it's a little bit smaller. Basically the same product. But today, it's out with the old and in with the new Wi-Fi models. By the way, sorry about the window. I know it's kind of washing out of the image, but my babies need sunlight. So I got this box directly from Govee. I only took about two days to get here. The main kit comes with a Wi-Fi hub and three sensors for different locations. And I went ahead and bought three additional sensors. So when you open up the box, nice packaging, three sensors, and they're really small, a lot smaller than the other modules I got. The main Wi-Fi hub, I didn't know it was a 110 plug on the back of it. Being that small and having the Wi-Fi module separate from the sensors means the sensors can be a lot smaller, which would be perfect for the smaller enclosures, like the hatchling bins. You can see the vent on the side where it detects the temperature and the humidity. So you want to make sure that that never falls out of the substrate. I had a panic moment with Scarlett's enclosure one time because the humidity shot up like 95% and the temperature dropped like 5, 10 degrees. Turns out she had pulled it off the wall and it fell out in the substrate where I had just watered a plant and threw the gauge off. So you want to make sure you stick these up on a wall or something because if they fall in the substrate, you won't have accurate readings. So I'm going to start removing all the old modules. They're stuck with sticky tape and that's going to take a second. So I'll be right back with you. So the double-sided tape I'm going to use to install these sensors and this stuff. The strongest double-sided tape you can get, of course, is 3M, and they call it VHB tape. It's pretty distinguishable by the red label. All that other kind of contact stuff with double-sided tape, it doesn't work. Not in an enclosure, especially one with humidity, like Scarlet's. And I put just enough on the back to hold them. I want to make sure there's none hanging over the edge that they can crawl up and get stuck to. Because this stuff is super sticky. They might not be strong enough to get off. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you the most annoying thing about this tape is getting the back off. But a pro tip is to stick it to your object and let it sit there for a good 5-10 minutes and then peel the back off. Alright, stick these up. I'll be right back. And stick it right in the side on the heat side. Hey baby, you want to come out and see us? Here's my boy Taki. Sup good boy. You say hey Taki? Taki got a fat head for his body. Don't you? You got a fat head. All right, Taki, put you back in your house so I can get back to your sisters and brothers. Or future wife, whatever you want to call her. Miss Wiggler. How you doing? You look like you in shed. Are you in shed, Ma? Oh, yeah. Mama deep in the shed. You getting big, sweetie. Most of you probably haven't seen Charlotte's house since the enclosure build. But as you can see, her plants are taken off. The original ones I planted, some of them died, some of them been replaced, some of them are still there. But as you can see, they're growing. And look who's out to see us. So if you didn't know, scarlet has been off of food for seven months. And on Easter, she ate for the first time. So it looks like she thinks I'm about to feed her again, and she's wrong. It's going to be a couple more days. But I'm about to put her new thirds up, so she's probably going to want to come out. What's up, baby? It's not food time, okay? I gotta get you some water, too. I'm gonna stick up the new ones, and then I'm gonna see about pulling that old one off the wall. I really don't want to mess the paint up, but no need for it to be in there. So I may have to get something else to get it off. Oh, no. Nah. Never mind. That came up with no problem. Scarlet, you see this right here? Don't go and pull this thing off in five minutes. I know how you like to do. These are much smaller therms, so I have a feeling that she might not pull these off. It's not big enough for her big old body to wrap around comfortably. I think she might leave these alone. Alright, stuck up there for now. We'll see if it lasts. Take you on a tour through the cage.
Okay, so I finally got them all done. Got the module plugged in. Got them all paired up to it. And I want y'all to learn from my mistake. As I was doing it, I knew it was a mistake, but I did it anyway. Like a lot of products, each one of these modules has a tab in the battery. As soon as you pull that tab out, it starts to work. And the problem with that is, when you go to pair it to the module, you got six sensors talking all at once, and there's no way to tell them apart. So after I pulled the tab out of each one of them, I got them all mounted up, I had to go back and take them all down and take the battery out of all of them except one. Start with that one. Then install the battery on each one and pair it individually after that. Real pain. But in that process, I did find out that you could pull them off and still leave the back mounted up to the enclosure. So now I gotta go through this app. I'm gonna change all the settings. I'm gonna change the alert settings for each one of these bins. Like for the hog nose, I'm gonna set the humidity to alert me when it goes above about 55%. Now, of course, for Scarlet's Cage, because it's a tropical environment, I'll set it to alert me when the humidity drops below about 40. Really, anywhere between 35 and 65 is okay. And slight variations in that is good for the animal. But I like to average it out around 50. So I figured she'd come out and see y'all, but she's still in hide mode, so I guess I have to show you later. Sorry, right, I need to fatten her back up anyway. She's been off of food for a while. She really only lost about 80 grams, and that last rat I gave her was 60, so shouldn't take long to get it back on her. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm going to try out these new products. After I run them for a while, I'll see how I like them. And I'll be pinning updates in the comment section. Y'all have a good one. Meanwhile, now I got five of these Bluetooth modules not being used. I might need to get some more snakes.